Okay, handbaggers, thanks for joining me for part two. I decided I would go ahead and just do a what's in my bag for the new dreamers, the crossbody and the satchel. And I'm going to start with the satchel and show you the interior has a zip and a slip and the slip is collared in leather the zip is not here is my hand in the uh, zip so you can get an idea of how deep and wide it is and then in the slip there is no key keeper I have not found I don't think any of the coach bags I have ever purchased I've had key keepers I don't think um, you will see that the zip zip functionality affords the gussets here which are leather on the side and this lining which I believe is oxblood is a textile um, it feels like cotton and polyester it is tacked I think to the bottom of the bag so typically here is what I would carry of course the wristlet a cosmetic case the keys and my glasses case um, so here is the wristlet the cosmetic case the glasses and I would tuck the keys probably into the side. I don't think I would utilize either the zippered or the slip compartment. And of course, my phone would go on the front pocket, the front snap pocket or it could go on the back snap pocket, but I think I would carry it for ease of use on the front. So let's see how she zips and how she looks. She zips really easily. There are no protrusions, unsightly bulges with what I carry. So there is the dreamer satchel packed and that is so bizarre that these soft malleable handles made an indentation in both sides of that smooth leather oh well I still think that this is such a great bag she is relatively heavy now though but overall, she's not a heavy bag. All right, so moving on to the Dreamer crossbody. I would not be able to carry the wristlet because honestly, I don't think the wristlet's going to fit, but we can try. Things that make you go, it fits. Look at there. All right, so let's see how it looks with the rest of this stuff. I might have to move to a smaller, um, well, let's try putting this cosmetic case in the back compartment, inverted upside down. And then the glasses case would go in the back compartment. And then the keys would probably go in the front with the wristlet. So this is fully packed. Let's see if she zips and how she looks. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna look wonky um, when she zips, but let's finish out. I think 
My key is caught. It is. So here's the zipper. She does hold everything, which was really surprising. And of course, my phone would go there. I am flabbergasted that this little bag fits that wristlet because I was prepared to forego the wristlet and just carry this little coach fold over piece which honestly probably would fit better so let's see if we remove my coupon pouch from the wristlet drop that in drop in the smaller wallet and then tuck the keys in it's a much smoother zip I can tell you that much and you can see the indentation of my phone that has never bothered me the indentations um, again the indentation on the satchel is not going to bother me either. But, uh, yeah. So, there you have the handbaggers. Both of the dreamers accommodate everything I would carry. And I don't know if I showed you the... I can't remember if I showed you the tag for the dreamer satchel. If I did, I apologize. But here it is again just in case you're interested. I, I believe that this bag is still on the Coach website. It retails for $550. I will put the price in the description because honestly, I don't remember how much I paid for this bag. I don't remember how much I paid for either one of them. So I'll put the price in the description just to give you a base. It's when I share the prices with you, it's just informational. It's not any kind of, it's not anything else. It's only informational. So, yeah. Pretty happy with both the Dreamer Satchel and the Dreamer Crossbody because bags, in my opinion, are just workhorses. I buy them to hold my things and to act as accessories. These are accessories to my outfits. Um, as we all know, a good handbag can make a bad outfit look good. <laughs> so I don't, you know, I don't worry about a lot of things. I don't baby my bags. They are just they're working accessories. So if the outline of my phone shows, eh, it shows. As long as it holds my phone and my phone is easily accessible, I'm not really gonna worry about that. Because I, I don't really sell my bags. I don't know. I, I just can't get excited about stuff like that. All right, there you have it, handbaggers. Thanks for joining me for part two, and I will see you in the next video.